Hey everyone, this is going to be a short video on my key takeaways of tonight's games. I do these videos every so often mixed in with game reactions that I've been too busy to do this week on games, but we'll be doing some for tomorrow's game, Saturday, and Sunday's games before the Super Bowl kicks off. So look, keep a lookout for those. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borick or Professor Joe, as everyone calls me. Um, Please um, like, comment, and subscribe. As always, we really appreciate the support. I uh, really appreciate y'all. And I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers by next week. And we're at, I think, 94 now since we had a new sub today. Uh, it was 93 yesterday. So uh, we're almost there. Only six away or five away if we got two today. Um, and uh, that will really help us in tenfold. Thank you. Appreciate it. And uh, Cash App, if you want to donate to the cause, is Philly Sports Guy 28. Uh, we really appreciate that. Uh, have a great, safe, and uh, pleasant day, everyone, as well uh, tomorrow. Um, and tonight, um, I hope everyone's staying safe in the COVID world. But let's get right into the games. Uh, tonight was a very exciting docket of games. Uh, the Senators were able to pull out their second win of the season. Wow. Um, one of my favorite players in the league, though, for Montreal was able to score in Brandon Gallagher. Love that dude. He just plays really hard. Great guy to have in the playoffs. Plays with a lot of tenacity and grit. I've always loved Gallagher. Shabbat had a nice goal. And then Timmy Stutzla was able to score in tonight's game, which was huge. Uh, that's his fourth goal. Uh, Stutzla's going to be a beast. Uh, he's a guy that has a chance if he really gets going, even on a crap team like Ottawa that's still developing, to win the Rookie of the Year. And um, he's a guy that definitely has a potential. Josh Anderson scored again, having a heck of a season for Montreal. So um, that game... And guys that you expect to perform for Montreal and Gallagher and Anderson did, but other guys did not show up. It was a very down game for them. They did have a good amount of shots, but you should be able to find a way to beat the Senators. Um, and they were just not able to do that. They did much better towards the tail end, but yeah, they did not come out good in that game. Another team that came out flat tonight was the Washington Capitals. Um, they ended up losing to the New York Rangers. The Rangers have been struggling. Strom had a very nice deflection goal in that game. And then... Um, Potato uh, had a very nice goal going through the defense, rounding the net, going through the defense, his first goal in three years. So congratulations to him. That's huge. That's a big uh, job by him. That's definitely one of my key takeaways from the night. Congratulations to him as well as Stromer scoring two goals. Ryan Strom continues to do good things for the Rangers. His brother Dylan is doing really good uh, for the Blackhawks. So uh, nice for those two to be able to uh, carry the Strom family name. Uh, and hold it up high as uh, Matthew Strom is, of course, in the Philadelphia Flyers system and a little bit of a slower bloomer, but uh, I think can still become something over time, uh, not to their level, but still a solid player. Um, Predators and Panthers game, uh, the key takeaways from that is Nashville. Uh, the uh, Florida Panthers were up by a lot. Philippe Forsberg, Jonathan Huberto had a great game, uh, but the Panthers were up in this game 3-2 uh, to two, and then... Uh, they were they were actually up, I believe, at one point, um, two to one. They were up again. Uh, then Yon Crow tied it. Uh, then Ekblad uh, put Florida back up by one again. I'm pretty sure Florida had like four or five different leads in this game. And then Duchesne was able to score his first goal. If the Pirlo and I in the live earlier said he had to step up, well, good on him for stepping up in this game and potting his uh, first goal. Uh, and then Barky Barkov had a great game. Huberto had a great game. Roman Yossi, the Norris winner of last year, had a good game, able to pot his goal there, which made it 5-4 to four Florida at the time. Um, they were up 5-3, and there's no excuse uh, to blow a lead like that. That was a poor uh, closeout period by the Florida Panthers to then eventually lose in overtime on a goal by Forsberg, who had a hell of a night. Uh, that's also a great song by Dustin Lynch. But um, uh, he definitely had a hell of a night, uh, fully Forsberg. And Matt Duchesne had a heck of a night as well, um, being able to play good minutes, key minutes, and really step up for the Predators in a key role tonight, which is the first time he's done that all season. He's only had three assists, I believe, otherwise before this game. So uh, key on him, big on him. Great to see that. Um, for the Blue Jackets, it worked. Tortorella adjusted the lineup, moved guys around. It worked. He moved Bjorky all the way down to the fourth yard. Bjorkstrand, for people that don't know, that's short for him. Um, and he was able to pot a goal on a nice play. Roslovic, who's played him very good, I think, just hasn't got points. In my opinion, he's played very well. Those he's coming in that system. Good on him. Uh, and then Rupe Pimps uh, did very good. I always call him Rupe because it's a lot more fun to say it that way, but that's not how you actually pronounce it. He was able to pot a goal. Line got his first, finding the puck in front of the net and kind of just backhanding it as it fell to him, uh, which was a nice goal to be able to have awareness, to be able to stay there and realize the puck was going to come to you. Very nice job by Patty there. Dickinson, who's another player I 
I've always liked around the league. He's just a hard scrapper type guy, kind of a poor man's Gallagher. Scraps a lot, doesn't have the skill of Gallagher. Though. I always like guys like that. Um, Ham Atkinson, again, scored. And then Jamie Benn. I mean, who doesn't like Jamie Benn? This dude just plays with a lot of passing and grit. Uh, there's no key takeaways, really, from the Maple Leafs game, other than the fact that I thought they were going to blow out the Canucks. And they did so, but I lied. There is one key takeaway, and we all know what that is. That is Jason Spezza, the man turned back the clock. He scored a hat trick, great player, great dude. Not a great player anymore, now just solid, but was a great player one time with those Ottawa Senators. Great dude, guy that's beloved around the league. Great to see him be able to get that hat trick and turn back the clock tonight. Big night by him. So that's the only thing we have to mention for that. Kevin Lankin in five wins in a row. The dude's a beast. I think Chicago honestly found their goalie. They're actually a fun um, average team to start the season to watch because so far this season they have been average. They're actually um, right now only a point, well tied actually with Carolina after beating them. Uh, but their differential puts the... Kane still uh, in fourth as the Blackhawks are in fifth. But if they keep playing like this and Lankinen steps up, I mean, it wasn't the plan of the Bowmans, but they might end up contending a lot more than they think if this keeps happening, especially if Subban plays like he played last game. Like Pirlo said in the live, the dude played like Price last game. Uh, he was in and was really able to step up. So if that can continue, then, yeah, they can definitely get going somewhere. Sorry, my watch was going nuts. Um and that, that can definitely be huge for them. As for the Coyotes, that was a huge win by the Coyotes. Being able to beat the Blues in St. Louis. Pitlick had a night. He had a great goal in front. Um, Schmoltz is having a good season. He potted his fifth goal. And then Connor Garland had a nice play as well. As well as Christian Dvorak, who's really having a good season. Got to shout him out. Sixth goal of the season th- thus far. For Dvorak, excuse me, as he's really stepping up and already has nine points in nine games. Uh, he's having his best start to a season, and I think his dude is going to be a surprise player this year that really breaks out and does wonders. Um, maybe not to get the team anywhere because they're not the most consistent and fluent team. I think they will trade one of their goalies eventually, but at least to be an exciting player to watch. And then the last game of the night, my key takeaway from the Jets' performance is just they did what I thought the Jets would do. The Flames have been a little bit back and forth this year the Jets have been a lot more consistent um I would say um for the Jets my key takeaway really is the underrated Kyle Connor continuing to do things and Appleton after having that great apple pun intended in the game before had a good empty netter tonight he was able to capitalize on and I believe also potted his second goal yes he did his second goal earlier in the game as well so good on him to really get going nice bottom sixer at least there could have the potential to be a second liner if he can be as consistent as he's been the last couple games in offense but we'll have to see over time but this has been a reaction this has been the key takeaways from each game tonight uh, stay tuned as we go into more specifics with Pirlo on the live tomorrow from three to five maybe we'll have John maybe we'll have um, other someone else join us tomorrow who knows i don't know about steel uh because he's coming off of surgery but we'll have to see uh, but everybody please enjoy your night have a great safe and pleasant night have a great safe and pleasant day tomorrow have a good weekend enjoy the super bowl weekend coming up and stay tuned bring that up because stay tuned please for my super bowl video that we'll be releasing either tomorrow or saturday got busy today it's going to come out tomorrow or saturday previewing the super bowl giving a prediction of the winner and i throw in a score prediction but i wouldn't bet on that it's just tough to pick the score i would just bet on the winner and uh whatever else you want to throw in but i'm only throwing in the winner to you on here because we give the specifics to our patreon which is at bpal picks so please subscribe there as well and as always check out steelflies.com and like comment and subscribe here have a great safe and pleasant night everybody enjoy all the hockey enjoy all the great sports on this weekend go nhl go nba go nfl go mlb always repping the top three sports and the ncaa we wish you all great keen success peace out everybody have a good night